Hey guys, as we wrap up our unit on radicals, we're going to finish by looking at how do we solve equations that have these radicals in them. And um, remember when I say solve equations, I just mean figure out, tell me what x equals, right? And so what what does x equal and how does um, how do we get to that? And as we're thinking about this, there's a key second step that we're going to do in these problems that I think will hopefully make it clear as to what we're working with. So let's let's take a look at this first problem example right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to isolate the radical. If you're not sure what isolate means, it means get it alone. When I say radical, I'm looking at everything underneath the square root right here. And anything not under there needs to go away. So in this problem, I'm thinking that I need to clear out the 9. Okay? Because then, my radical, 7x plus 2, is alone on its side of the equation. Okay? Once it's alone... We're going to raise both sides to the same exponent. And what we're going to pick for our exponent is whatever, whoops, sorry, that's a P for exponent. What we're going to pick is whatever the index is. So since this is a square root, it has an index of 2, I'm going to raise both sides up to a 2 because that 2 in the exponent will cancel the 2 in the index spot they'll wipe each other out and we'll be left with 7x plus 2 equals 9. Something we got to be careful of is when we're doing both sides we got to make sure that we're really tracking um, that we if we're squaring both sides that we really hit that number on the other side and make sure we don't miss any details at that point, once we get there, then we are going to solve the new equation we just made, right? We made a new equation that didn't have a radical in it. <laughs> Oops, that's not how you spell the equation. I don't even think that is a word. We, um, we made an equation that no longer has that square symbol in it, and so it's a lot easier to solve. And as we go through and solve it, give ourselves a little more room to write here. So we go through and solve it, we're just going to use our basic rules, which is get x alone. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And I'm going to finish with some division. And I'm going to get that magic line of math, x equals, and in this case, equals 1. And when we get that, once we know what x equals, that's how we know we finished the problem. If we stop before that, we're not done. So that's how we're going to solve it. So the big pieces are get your radical alone, if you can. Raise both sides of the equation to the same exponent. Right? In this problem, we did a 2 because it was a square root with an index of 2. So you got this. Be in touch if there's any questions you have. I know you can do it.